Hi, we are on day eight on our way to the clinic to get my device checked out. Um, everything's going pretty good today. Um, I had some mild uh, symptoms, but other than that, everything's going good. I'm in the truck with my hubby. Um, our clinic is based out of Louisiana. Um, and I'm kind of excited to go back and get to talk to my doctor um, about what's going on with my treatment. So, it's a pretty good day. Um, other than that... I got nothing to say. Uh, we're going we're gonna to show you a little bit of Ashley inside the doctor's office and what they say about Ashley's problems. Of course. Um... We'll probably get more in depth about that and more in depth about um, definitely um, the device and maybe cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, but other than that, everything's going good. Thank you all, and I really appreciate everybody that's looking on my page. Thank you. I know one thing, they can see all they want. Her color, uh, her color is a lot better. Oh my gosh. That's your helpful. eyes, your color, your affect. Mm -hmm. It's definitely coming out of me though. Put it here, you gotta leave it here. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, what's wrong? It's just got to go right here. You know what you're doing. Put your arm right here. Just, no, no, don't wet it. Just rest it. Just relax. We're going to go install this. Uh, see how we're looking this morning. See, we had zero. Okay, and we're going to plug in our unit. Okay, we plugged in. All right. We're at 266. 2.66. Battery life. Enough. That means we approximately have probably a day and a half of life on the battery left. Uh, we on day eight, so we should last nine to ten days on it. So that's pretty good. Okay, you want us to go ahead and get your cow score for today? You want to get a cow score for today to see if you have a cow score. Today, your resting uh, pulse rate was at 77, so that puts you at a zero for that scale. Sweating over the past hour not accounted for by room temperature. Are you having any chills or any flushing? Um, I'm having a little bit of flushing. When I woke up this morning, I was in severe cold sweats. But in the last hour, have you had? Um, on the way here, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put that as a one because that's a subjective report of flushing right restlessness during um, the assessment you seem like you're able to sit still yes so that's going to score you at a zero your pupil size are a little bit larger than room so i'm going to start score you at a one as far as your bone or joint aches are you having any bone or joint aches right um now? a little bit of achiness so, so that's going to be a one because that's mm -hmm. going to score you with a mild um, disuse comfort. As far as your runny nose or tearing, not accounted for by cold symptoms or allergies. Are you having any nasal stuffiness or unusual moisture in your eyes today? Um, when I woke up this morning, I had a little bit of, um, I would say, uh, the yawning, the the teary eyed, but like I'm, I said on the way here, it it sucked. Okay, so I'm going to score that at a zero because I scored it within the last thirty minutes. Okay. As far as your GI goes, your stomach issues over the last half hour, have you had any abdominal cramps? Yes. Have you had any nausea or loose stool? Yes. <coughs> no vomiting or diarrhea though. That di diarrhea. Okay, within the last 30 minutes? No, within, um, I would say, uh, <coughs> around mm, 6 in the morning. But within the last 30 minutes? No. 
Have you had any nausea or loose stool in the last 30 minutes? No. Okay. Any abdominal cramps within the last 30 minutes? Mm, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be a one. Okay. Okay, hold your hands out and let me see how well you're doing with that. You are having a little bit of observed tremors, so I'm going to put that as a one. You can put your hand down and rest. Okay. As far as the yawning goes, I have not seen you yawn during the last 30 minutes, so that's going to give you a score of zero. Mm -hmm. Anxiety or irritation? A little bit. So it's increasing intensity of the uh, irritability or anxiousness right now? No. So you have none of that? Uh, increasing? No. Okay, so would you feel like it would be a zero where you have none or a one where it reports increasing irritability or anxiousness? Mm, a one. Okay. As far as goosebumps goes? Yes. Okay. And that that was exhibited. Exactly. So if we come back and score, you have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, based upon the goosebumps. Without the goosebumps, it's a score of six. Okay. So with that score, it is a mild score because <laughs> a mild is five to twelve. Okay. <coughs> You're not following in the moderate range or anything like that. You're still following in the mild range for a cow score, which stands, stands for Clinical Opiate Withdrawal Scale. Okay. Okay, so we're doing really well detoxing mm -hmm. off of the level of methadone that you were on for how many years? For almost six. And, and I would agree absolutely that we are. So for six years, you were on... Um, I went from um, 60 to 50. 60 milligrams? 60 milligrams. Down to, to 50 milligrams? Yes. How long were you on 60 milligrams? Um, I would say for the past four or five years. Four to five years you were on 60 milligrams. Yes. And then when did you dose down to 50 milligrams? Um, I had my doctor dose me down. And he dosed me down. I when I first started, um, I went up very increased my dose um, all the way to about a hundred. Okay. Okay. So your maximum dosage that you had been on was a hundred milligrams. Yes. You and he dropped me one time, and I said N never again. Well, I I go through that much of a. Okay, decrease. so you went from 100 milligrams yes. down to 60, down to 50, and the 50 milligrams was when you were getting ready to go on the device? Yes. Okay, so how long was that, like a week or a couple of days? Um, I have been on six, 60 to 50 for a couple of days, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to put, you know, 7 to 14 days. Yes. Okay, prior to this, up here on your mm -hmm. history prior to the six years on methadone yes what was your history prior to that um prior to that I was a prescription opiate user um I was never a heroin user I was never a street user um I pretty much took everything orally um, other than when I switched to Roxy's and then, um, I began to snort them, okay. honestly. What would you call Roxy? What is that? A Roxy is an Oxycontin 30 milligram I mean, that's not the tablet and that is the real, it's that's what it is and the reason they get roxies is because it is easier to crush up and snort okay so how long was your drug history um it started at 13. so 13 years old yes through what um i'm 31 
so to 31. So if I do the math, and I'm going to subtract 31 minus 6, that gives me 25. So from 13 years old to age 25, that was a 12-year history. So you had a 12-year history of doing prescription drugs and then a six-year history of using methadone. Absolutely. Okay, so that's your total history. So all together, that makes up your 18 years. 12 plus o is 18 mm. years. Okay. So okay. if you do that, then that's, that's what we're looking at for that. How did all of this medication with a 13 year, or 25 years old, 12 year history mm -hmm. of doing prescription medications mm -hmm. with a six year history of doing methadone? Mm -hmm. How did that add up? Okay. So how did that affect your system? Of course, um, when you put anything in your system um, that long, no matter what it is, it's going to completely toxify your system, completely. Um, from the age of 13, even though I wasn't a habitual user at that time, from the age of 18 I was. And at that point in time I was a codependent act addict. Anytime you're going from 18 years to 31, that is a long time to toxify your body. That is a 12-year adult history. So I have a question. Is it really safe to say mm -hmm. for you, if I'm looking at how your body is affected by the medication that you did with the methadone, compared to other individuals that have a past drug history mm -hmm. or past addiction. Absolutely. That every individual's body processes whatever is put into it at a different rate. Oh, absolutely. Um, your body metabolizes methadone um, or any substance that you put into your body at an individual rate. At an individual rate, and I want to be very specific about that. Um, when you're using prescription drugs, when you're using street drugs, it all metabolizes different. It's different brains. It's different people. It's individual use. It's how you use the drug. It is how and how long you use the drug. If you supplement it for any other drugs, how you toxify your system what else was put in your system, and who you are as a individual. So, to be able to have other individuals that are following you online. Absolutely. To be able to say, this is how I did it, and look out and watch out for this, because of that, this may happen, or that may happen. Those are great individuals that are coming forth to be able to share their history that they've had. Mm -hmm. But one thing I want you to keep in the back of your brain is that every individual's body will process different things differently. If you have a cold and you take 25 milligrams of Benadryl or Tylenol or whatever it is, every individual's body will process that differently. Absolutely. So, it's great that you have so many followers that are following what you're doing and how well you're doing it, mm -hmm. but it's also something for you personally not oh, to get absolutely. discouraged by that because every individual does things differently and everybody handles it differently. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure that you're not comparing your apple to their watermelon. Oh, absolutely. I, I can understand that but at the same time I believe that putting this product out is very important because it is something that is not seen on this opioid epidemic that we have going on in the United States of America right now. 
mm-hmm. and individually it is hard for me as a person to come out and just say that this device works and it does and I know it does because I would be scaling and I know this for a fact at a more severe rate than what I am doing now. Ashley, we just want to tell you how proud we are of you. Oh, thank you. You were doing a fantastic job and the fact that you're willing to open yourself up, you and Eddie both, to share with other individuals your process that you go through so other individuals are able to see your your progress Mm -hmm. is amazing. Thank you. I'm proud of you.